Hi, so it's now quite easy to get started in investing because opening a brokerage account is easy and most brokerage now has very competitive fee structure as well, which gives us access to the entire global market. And not to mention, we can always start our investing journey with just a few hundred dollars right now. But another great innovation over the past decade in investing is really the birth of ETF, exchange traded funds. ETFs are great and cheap too for us to create a diversified portfolio. It also allows us to gain exposure to a particular sector or asset class that we want to invest in. So today, let's look at three ETFs that I think that every new investor should know. These three ETFs can be a key starting ETF for you when you're starting to create a safe and diversified portfolio in 2023. But before we go into the three ETF in detail, I'd just like to thank our sponsor for this video, fsm1.com. In this video, the three ETF of interest are really just my own personal view. But if you want to learn more about other ETF that are featured and recommended by the FSM1 team, you will definitely want to visit the FSM1 ETF Festival 2023. Held in the 6th of May in the Projector X at Cathay, you can register now and join them in person. At the event, the FSM1 research analysts and ETF issuers will be sharing more about their favorite ETF right now and how you can really use exchange traded funds to navigate through this uncertain market. On top of that, there are also prizes worth up to $4,000 worth for you to be won. So registration is free, so remember to click on the registration link below to book your seat right now. So let's get back to our video. Number one, the JP Morgan US Quality Factor ETF. The great thing about ETF is that you can use it to gain exposure to a particular market or sector that you're interested in. So by just using one or two ETF, you can actually create a portfolio that is diversified in terms of sector and geographical market exposure. So for example, if you're optimistic about the growth of US companies and the US economy in general, instead of trying to pick stock within the market, you can look at ETF like the JP Morgan US Quality Factor ETF. JP Morgan US Quality Factor ETF is a passive ETF that tracks the performance of the JP Morgan Quality Factor Index. The ETF really focuses on selecting stocks with above average quality factor, such as profitability, their earnings quality, and solvency risk. Using this selection matrix, the funds can choose stocks that match their criteria within the Russell 1000 index. So in theory, you can expect companies with above average growth or earnings to be included in this index. This ETF right now has an asset under management of around 1 billion US dollars. So the JP Morgan US ETF is one of the lowest cost ETF right now with an expense ratio of just 0.12%. Meaning for every $1,000 you invest, you'll only be charged $1.20 a year for owning this ETF. Talk about cheap, right? And this ETF will let you own some of the best company listed on the US exchanges. This JP Morgan US ETF owns around 240 stocks in total and in a very distributed allocation across all its stocks. So for example, its largest holding is Meta Platforms, but it only takes up 2.3% of the fund. This allows the fund to really spread out its concentration risk as it will not be dependent on the performance of just a few companies. In terms of industrial exposure, the JP Morgan US ETF is leaning more towards the technological sector, of course, which take up about 26% of its exposure. However, if you compare to most other ETFs out there, it is still a more diversified fund compared to its peers. This is because it is well diversified across many important industries as well, so apart from tech, to consumer, to healthcare, to industrials, and also to financials. So by just investing in this ETF, you will be investing in some of the best companies across US, across many industries, and has business exposure globally. The ETF now has a solid long-term track record as well, generating a yearly return of around 10% a year since its inception in 2017. So if you are bullish about the US market, this is definitely one ETF you need to know. Number two, the Hang Seng Tech ETF. Well, nowadays the topic of US versus China is very contentious and it seems that many people either believe that China will take over the US as the next superpower or the US can really rein in on China the same way they have prevented the Japanese economy from taking over theirs in the 90s. Well, I hold a less extreme view and in the spirit of capitalism, I think some competition might be actually a good thing. It pushes both sides to innovate faster and become more competitive. 
So I do think that Chinese company can continue to grow alongside their US counterpart. And if you are bullish about the Chinese economy, then one ETF that you want to really look into is the iShare Hang Seng Tech ETF. Listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, the iShare Hang Seng Tech ETF is also a passive fund that follows the Hang Seng Tech Net Total Return Index. This index consists of the 30 top technology companies listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Although these 30 companies are widely known as technological companies, they really cut across multiple industries like consumer, media, and communication services. But as it is a more concentrated ETF with just 30 stocks, its top 10 weighting take up about 65% weightage of the fund. And some of the popular names include Tencent Holding, Xiaomi Corporation, Alibaba, and even Kuaishou Technology. Currently, this fund has a fund size of $1.6 billion and has a management fee of 0.25% a year. So it will allow you to gain exposure to all the major Chinese technology companies with just one stock. But of course, if you have noticed, the Chinese tech sector has really been struggling a little bit over the past two years. However, it seems that things are really looking brighter going forward with a much clearer alignment with the government national objective and the tech sector. So if you're optimistic about the Chinese tech sector or the economy in general, this is also one ETF you want to know. And lastly, it is always a good idea to add more cash flow into a portfolio. And after a volatile 2022, most of us might be in a wary mode when it comes to investing again. Maybe we might not want to rush into just growth stocks or ETF all at once, but rather want to invest in assets that give us a strong, consistent cash flow. And in that case, we might even want to consider some REITs ETF. And it's no coincidence that Singapore is home to some of the highest yielding and highest quality REITs in the region. But instead of just trying to figure out which REIT is good for you, maybe going with an ETF like the Nikko AM Streets Trading Asia X Japan REITs ETF might be a good option. This ETF is listed on the Singapore exchange and it actually gave out a quarterly distribution. The current yield stands at around 5.5%, which is very attractive, and the ETF is really following the FTSE EPRA and a REIT Asia X Japan REITs 10% cap index. Wow, that's a mouthful, but the index just includes constituents of developed and emerging countries in Asia X Japan region by market cap. Right now, most of the REIT owned by the fund is indeed located in Singapore, taking about 70% of the allocation. And that is actually a good sign as Singapore is home to some of the highest quality and highest yielding REIT. But at the same time, it also gives you some geographical diversification as it has other exposure of assets across Asia Pacific. Right now, its largest holding includes REITs from Capital Land and also Maple Tree, two of the largest property companies in the region. Although the ETF now is quite small by the standards of, say, US ETF, it has an AUM of just 400 million sing dollar. Its expense ratio is actually quite reasonable at just 0.58% a year. So if you're looking to generate more cash flow and add more diversification to your portfolio, this ETF is also one you really need to know. So there you have it, three ETFs you really need to know if you're starting your portfolio this year. And by combining these three ETFs, you can really create a well-diversified portfolio that tacks onto the growth of some of the best US and also Chinese company. And while at the same time, keeping a portion of your portfolio to generate very high passive income for you with the REITs ETF. But of course, these three ETFs are just based on my own personal view. And if you want to learn more about how to fully utilize ETF in your investment, you should definitely visit the FSM1 ETF Festival 2023. Again, it will be held on the 6th of May at the Projector X at the Cathay. And you can register and join them in person as FSM1 research analysts and also their ETF issuer will be sharing more about their recommended ETF right now for you. And also, they'll learn how to use ETF to really navigate through this uncertain market. But more importantly, on top of that, there are prizes up to $4,000 worth waiting for you to be won that day. So remember, registration is free. So click on the registration link below to book your seat right now. Thank you for watching this video. Till we meet again, my name is Stanley. Invest safely.